Hello everyone, today I have an unboxing for you. It's for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and these are the products for the month of November, the, the core products. Starting off with the Distress Glitter, the Rock Candy from Tim Holtz. And then my other product is this Inca Gold. It's a gorgeous, uh, more like a black colour and it's called Graphite. I'm looking forward to working with this product. My other core product is this one here. It's a Sizzix Framelit. Uh, framelit. And it's called Eucalyptus because the theme for this month is an Australiana theme and Auntie Vera has called it, now what has she called it? I think she was an Aussie, very appropriate. Next thing is these gorgeous stamps from Kaisercraft and they are a Christmas stamp and I do believe they are called, oh I'm not sure what they're called, what are they called? They are called Under the Gum Leaves very appropriate for an Australiana theme and these gorgeous ephemera set are from Courtier Creations and they're called the ephemera sets called a sunburnt country and unfortunately this has got a lot of birds in it and if you've been following for a while you know I don't like birds the other core product is this one here it's from Kaisercraft and it's a Christmas Australiana theme and I believe that's called under the gum leaves as well and here we are some of these gorgeous papers I love this paper I love that it sort of has an Australiana theme reef to it love the other side of the paper as well I think it's absolutely gorgeous so can't wait to see what it's called and of course all papers are from the sunburnt collection for the month of November from Courtier Creations and this paper is paper 03A so I love that paper but look at this one birds birds everywhere so I won't be using the bird side but I do like this other one here with this sort of rocky patterns on on this sort of lovely brown sort of color and love all these Australiana sayings and the other the the cutter parts there are really nice too I quite like all of them and I love this wattle paper I think it's absolutely stunning and very Australian absolutely gorgeous wattle paper sorry for my camera it's playing up when it's trying to pick up greens I'm not sure why it doesn't want to pick up the color greens but love the other side of this paper too love the shades I'm sure I'll find a use for this paper and I think it's gorgeous and this paper here sort of looks like rocky terrain I'm not really sure but I think it's got absolutely gorgeous texture not wild on the cockatoo move along and look at this one here it's got like these little road maps and I'm thinking Aboriginal when I'm seeing this I don't know why but the other side's got birds so moving right along and love the blue color here I love the blue watercolors but I will not be using that bird so I'm looking more at this this bluey one maybe a beach thing not sure we'll see what I create and another green color that my camera doesn't want to pick but the other side's got those parrots and I love this tin paper it, rustic tin I just love it so looking forward to using that and another beautiful paper of an Australiana landscape with the kangaroos love this map of Australia pity about the bird and love these waratahs waratahs are absolutely stunning flowers and another gorgeous paper with these eucalyptus sleeves so here we go this is a sticker book from Kaiser Craft and I believe it's from oh I forget what the brand is anyway what the collection's called but it's a very Christmas themed one and these ones here are products that I bought for myself they're not part of the core products it's just that I loved this Australian Christmas theme and the colors and the fact that there was Australian and not a snowflake or snowman inside because really in Australia we don't have snowmen and snowflakes at Christmas time so I absolutely love that Kaiser Craft brought out this collection and this is another one here that I thought was appropriate these lovely little sheep buttons from Auntie Vera and these are the collection from Kaiser Craft and let me see what are they called under the gum leaves under the gum leaves how appropriate is that so these are just papers that I chose to buy for myself because I just love them I love the Christmas theme I love that they're Australian and as soon as I saw them I knew I was going to add them to my Christmas collection so I love this paper with all the Waratahs 
and then you've got those gorgeous cut apart cut aparts there so I will be using those and most of the papers I bought I bought two of everything so I can have side A and side B in some cases I'll only buy one but most of the time it's two and look at that don't they coordinate beautifully so and oh I love this one here it's got this Christmas tree with the the kangaroo and I think it's a wombat down the bottom love that can't wait to use that so be interesting to see what I create with these papers obviously it's going to be Christmas themes and look at these gorgeous wattle flowers oh absolutely love them so yes I got two of them and the other side I believe that might be a dark green color which as I said earlier my camera is not picking up for whatever reason oh more waratahs love waratahs I only got one of these but I love the other side it's very textured <clears throat> and this other paper here I also only got one of um, because I wanted the the rustic tins forget about the cockatoo not a fan and here we are some Australian uh, animals and I think they're so cute the koala the kangaroo the wombat platypus oh so gorgeous and the other side is this gorgeous sort of striped Christmas Christmas stripes is what I'm going to call them and oh eucalyptus leaves I love eucalyptus leaves they're just so I don't know so Australian I guess and the other side is sort of like this background back background with eucalyptus leaves on one of the corners and then I also got the oh this was a it's just for my planner some love heart stickers and some extra papers because you can never have enough yellow in your stash these papers were just a few little extras and I really was running low of my pattern papers in the in the yellow sort of color range so I'm so glad to have these finally in my stash. Thank you, Auntie Vera. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun creating with these. And I do have a couple of layouts in mind for these papers. So you will hopefully be seeing those very soon. And that's it for me. Thank you so much and take care, everyone.